All right, YouTube, so for this vlog, I'll be doing something a little different today. And the new theme in question is this. I will be doing a review of the last movie I saw in the theater and talking about the next movie I'll see in the theater. So the last movie I saw in the theater versus the next movie I'll see in the theater and what I expect from, well, what I expected from the last movie and what I expect from the next movie. So let's dive in. So the last movie I saw in theaters was Blink Twice, and to be honest, I didn't like it. Now don't get me wrong, I definitely wanted to like it, and there were parts I liked, and I really liked the concept of this movie, but for me it just felt very uninteresting, and the scenes kind of dragged out, and a lot of stuff was kind of cliche, but I could forgive that if the movie entertained me a little more, which it just didn't, and it just couldn't keep me hooked much, but wasn't terrible I'd say it was honestly a pretty mediocre movie in my opinion but one thing I did definitely like about this movie was aside from the interesting concept it also makes me excited to watch more thriller type movies because although this one wasn't great it makes me sort of appreciate the genre and the good ones I've seen and want to watch more good ones if that makes any sense so now let's move on to the next movie I plan to see in theaters that movie in question is Beetlejuice Beetlejuice so I've mentioned it in a few of my other vlogs, but I definitely have high hopes for this movie and I'm really looking forward to it. Not to beat that point to death, but um, yeah, so far the pre-reviews have been good. At least the Rotten Tomato score and early reactions seem to be good. But to be honest, even if they weren't, I'd still see the movie like I did with The Crow. So yeah, that was another movie I mentioned in the three auto movies I'm looking forward to. And it was all right, but on to more about Beetlejuice 2. So it's coming out this week, which is early September, which is still summer, but in my book, it's never too early for a good Halloween movie, which is exactly what I expect of Beetlejuice. The movie looks very promising. The trailers were very funny, entertaining, and very interesting without giving too much of the plot away. So I'm definitely appreciating that. And I do expect the story to be good to this movie. I don't just expect it to be a funny, entertaining movie, although I do also expect it to be funny, entertaining. and probably the most important thing of a movie so it's odd I mentioned that but overall I'm have good expectations for Beetlejuice Beetlejuice and I'm really looking forward to seeing it this weekend and as I mentioned in one of my vlogs from a few weeks ago I have seen the trailers to Beetlejuice and the latest one was very funny I especially liked um Wednesday or not Wednesday but Jenna Ortega's character I forgot her name in Beetlejuice but I know she was also Wednesday which was a great show but um her line in the trailer was just very funny and witty and I like her as an actress and I've definitely seen good movies of her and same goes for the other cast such as Winona Ryder and Michael Keaton. So I'm definitely looking forward to this. I think it has a good cast which also contributes to a movie although I haven't mentioned casts of movies too much in my review so that's an idea. A light bulb just went off. So yeah this was today's vlog. It was a conjoined movie review. Do you guys think I should keep making videos like this or just stick to my normal review points. Just let me know and thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more soon. Goodbye.